Hey guys, welcome to my first Halloween tutorial. I'm so excited and kind of nervous, I'm not going to lie. So I'm starting off with a, a using Miron's Clown White Paint and a foundation brush. I'm looking at a reference picture of Crispy who did this look last year. And I'm just starting to outline my skull. Starting at the bridge of my nose and bringing it underneath my eye sockets. So I'm going to take it to my kind of ear, since I am only doing a half skull, and then take it to my ear on the other side. And then I'm going to just take um, a little bit more product after that and start filling in those lines. Not those lines, my entire face. <laughs> Yeah, I don't feel like I could get enough detail out of this large uh, Dior, I think random Dior foundation brush I had. So it worked for filling in, and now I'm just going to take my beauty blender and just kind of blend it, in, an old beauty blender by the way, and just kind of blend in the areas that um, are patchy, because this stuff doesn't lay down all that nicely. So of course, right out of the gate, I feel like I made a mistake and I went too high, so too much of my face was... Uh, white, so I just took a makeup white and wiped it off and touched up my concealer before I got a smaller Japanese uh, foundation brush and went in and redid my line. So it wasn't that hard to take off, so if you do make mistakes, it's not the end of the world, just try to fix it as best you can. This book isn't about perfection, it's just kind of about the effect. Another issue that I had is I bought a liquid paint as opposed to like a cream or water-based paint, so I felt like it did move a lot. I'm taking, oh, someone's giving me sass. I'm taking a MAC angled brush, and I'm just outlining the hollow of where my nose would be missing. It did not work well at all to shade it in, so I had to get another brush. I think this is an Urban Decay brush from one of the palettes and the flat end and just fill in with the black liquid paint on my nose. Like I said, this is supposed to be kind of the hollow that would be created if you didn't have the cartilage that your nose is pretty much made of. So now I'm going to start with that same uh, angled brush and I'm going to do the lines underneath my eyes where my skull would start. Crispy took this and she didn't go all the way like I did. She only stayed in the middle, so I wish I had done that, but I well, I'd already committed to going that far. Now I'm going to take that same brush and I'm going to start outlining my mouth for my teeth. So I'm just kind of taking it a line straight from the corner of my mouth to the jaw. Um, and then after that, I'm going to take the brush and go from my kind of middle of my ear down trying to get it underneath where my natural cheekbone would be. So this is kind of a whole process of, of light and dark, dark being where you wouldn't have, obviously where you wouldn't have anything, no skin, no flesh, because um, it is just bones. So just put your finger on your face and kind of see where the bones are, and, and that helps. I, I really wish I had done that more now that I looked back, but it is what it is. So now I'm just taking the brush and going on the other side. Trying not to bring it too far in, but I did. Oops. Oh well. Now we're going into the center of the lips. And then tracing down. Oh gosh, I kept messing up. Kind of trying to trace down where that bone is by your jawbone into your, I guess, kind of mid cheekbone. Oh, I don't know what that's called. So just taking a brush, that same brush I used to do my nose, and I'm going to start feathering out the color 
trying to give it some depth and some darkness because like I said that would be where the hollows of your cheek is um, and also the space where your jaw and your teeth kind of go into. Just thickening up those lines. Now I'm going to start on the teeth. After much personal debate I actually ended up, I think I switched brushes here, I was using the angled brush at first and it just was not working so I went and got a smaller eyeliner brush that I think is actually this one. Yeah, it's actually Chanel randomly. I don't know. My brushes are all ruined now, mostly. So um, I'm taking that and just starting to make chiclets with the black lines where my teeth would naturally be. So I'd say take your time on this. This is the part I kind of started to rush. I think I just felt like it wasn't moving fast enough. Take your time. Try to make your teeth even. Um, yeah. Did the other side. Now I'm just filling in the hollows of my cheekbones. Underneath my cheekbones, sorry. So now just with that same detailed brush, you start to curve the teeth and make them look like realistic teeth. I felt like this almost looked more like an x-ray than it did in a, a skull. So um, I just kind of started to think about like what my teeth look like on a dental x-ray. <laughs> How they're kind of curved at the bottom and rounder at the top. They thin down. So I am just doing that and that's honestly the most time consuming. Oh, now I'm using a uh, kind of a shader brush and very just matte black eyeshadow and I'm starting to kind of try to shade the teeth to give them a more natural look. This to me was the hardest part because I did have that uh, liquid paint on for the black and I felt like it moved a ton. I don't know, maybe I should have set my white paint first with the setting powder that they gave me and that might have helped but I had a lot of... Um, blending kind of into each other so everything kind of turned out to look a little bit gray so you can see I'm going through and just with the black paint um, or actually now I'm still doing shadow so I'm still shading right now but I will go through with the black paint and kind of try to define those lines a little bit better and somebody came in and said something saucy I don't know what that was <laughs> So just take your time and shade the teeth um, to give it that natural feel. Like I said, you want it to kind of look like there's shadows on the teeth. There would be naturally kind of a shadow in between each tooth and more of a highlight towards the center. Speaking of shadows, I'm just kind of going underneath that top line to create a shadow, uh, leaving a white space so it looks like it's raised a little bit right there at the top of your cheekbone and then it casts a shadow down onto your skull. So I am cleaning up because I want my skeleton contour to be nice and sharp so I'm just kind of cleaning up some of my edges I felt were a little sloppy. So you see I'm cleaning up and then I go back in and shade more so it's kind of a layering process. You just want to add um, layers everywhere then now I'm just kind of shading underneath where my jawbone would be and I'm just kind of fixing my nose and going through and softening the line um, so it's not so harsh at the very top. Like I said before, this is definitely a process, so it's, it's about shading and then darkening it, um, adding white to kind of make the teeth in the middle to make the teeth stand out more, adding a little bit more white underneath to uh, accentuate those shadows and right now I'm just adding a little bit more depth in to the um, hollows of my cheek. Darkening up that line because we've done a lot of blending. I feel like I went back and forth like a hundred times on everything but I was just trying to get a certain look out of it. So now I'm going to start actually on my chin. I want to do a couple little cracks on my chin to look like the skull is cracked a little bit at the bottom so just very very lightly I'm just taking um, the paint and I'm just kind of adding these little squiggles there's almost no product on this brush by the way so it gives you uh, the smallest lines possible and then afterwards you're going to take a shader brush and shade in between those lines to make it look like um, the pieces in between the lines are raised so now I'm just going to take a, a shader brush and some black eyeshadow the same black eyeshadow I've been using and just create a nice contour underneath my jawline just so it looks like my skull kind of floats 
And here's the final look. I popped in my contacts. I got mine from my ophthalmologist. Um, please don't just buy them off the internet. Make sure you go to a licensed optical shop to buy these kinds of contacts for Halloween because it can be very dangerous if you aren't um, buying them from a professional. You're just buying them online. So like I said, I popped my contacts in and I brushed my <laughs> nice little wig out and I'm ready to go for Halloween. Thanks again, guys, and hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. All right? Thanks. Bye.